All right, guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. Baby, and by now, I've done a few five year breakdown videos. I've done part one, part two, and part three. So, if you want to go check those videos out, I highly recommend that you do so. I talk about everything that's happening in each part, um, all the missions, everything that you need to take care of, and everything that you should definitely take into consideration. Now, for today's five year breakdown series type video, I'm going to be breaking down both the Gogeta and Vegito, who's really better, right? Um, there are banners, um, how good Trunks and Bardock actually are, and which banners you should be focusing on. So, first, let's take a look at Vegito, arguably the best LR in the game. Um, well, you know what? Okay, look, I've said this, and I'll say it again. I stand by it. LRUI Goku, best LR in the game, um, for shorter events, like Super Battle Road, stuff like that, right? Um, but this guy, once he's completely built up, same for Gogeta, once they're completely built up, they are definitely the best two units in the game. So, uh, Gogeta here, I mean, Gogeta, Vegito here, uh, leads Last Resort or Patara category, key 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%. This Last Resort category is actually really, really good, we'll take a look at that in just a second, but this is a very good leader skill. Um, his super attack, on both his 18 key and his 12 key, he raises attack. Um, obviously, the difference is just a mega colossal and colossal damage between the 12 and 18 key. Nothing too crazy. Um, and he does, again, stack attack, but it doesn't really last long because um, he, he automatically transforms. His transformation isn't an active skill, right? He automatically transforms from, fourth, from the fourth turn of battle. So the most that you can really raise his attack by is by two turns. Let's say you have him on the first rotation and then the third rotation. Um, then he'll raise his attack twice. But that's, that's really it, right? Now his passive skill. Attack and defense plus 70%. Key 3 when attacking and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Okay, the really cool thing about this LR is that he gets key 3 when attacking. So if you're at 15 key, you already you you, you just got yourself the, the 18 key super attack because he gives himself key 3, which is very, very solid. Um, if you somehow miss the 18 key or the 12 key with him, you're good to go because you basically have three key and there's no way like if you're running a team maybe if you don't have a, a good enough team I, I guess but with the leader skill of being of being six key and key three in the passive you only need three more key to really get a super attack off so it's not really anything too crazy right at plus links and stuff like that yeah, this guy is definitely gonna be super attacking every time um also have a high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack as the third attacker in the turn transform when conditions are met so there we go it gets his transformation conditions transform from the fourth turn from wait transforming from the fourth turn from the start of battle almost read that wrong again very very solid transformation conditions very solid makes him he it's just so it's too easy to transform unlike like the third anniversary units right who you need to be what under six um under 50 percent hp from six turns of battle six turns is a little overpowered and 50 percent not overpowered but just really bad right his links categories are absolutely insane, but let's take a look. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's take a look at what or how he, I can't speak, how good he is, sorry, in his blue form. I, I'm sorry, I don't know why this art appears like this, but again, uh, category, leader, it, category, leader skill is the same. Now, the weird thing here about his super attack is that he raises attack and defense on his 12 key, but he raises only defense on his, on his 18 key. To me, it should have been flipped around, right? Um, like, I, it's like they almost want you to get the 12 key instead. But I mean, you're going to be getting it instead anyway. So let's take a look at his passive skill. And this is why people think he, or people argue why he's the best unit in the game, right? Attack and defense plus 77% at the start of turn. Key 2 launches an additional super attack. So this guy is doing two attacks. Two, already, two super attacks. Not two attacks, two super attacks, okay? And then he also gets key, uh, key plus one and attack and defense plus 7% with each attack performed up to key five and attack and defense plus 77%. So basically, um, he, needs to, he needs to perform five attacks to get his key built up completely. And he needs to do 10 attacks to get his attack and defense built up completely, which is why he's just insane. And then that is only as the first or second attacker in the turn. But if you have him in the third slot, he launches, a, he launches an additional super attack has a high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack as well so if you have this guy in the third slot he's doing three super attacks guys three three super attacks 
Plus, his let's say you, you pull a multiple copies of him, you give him additionals, he's going to be doing possibly four super attacks per um, per rotation. That's that's insane. Four super attacks from this guy? That's absolutely insane. Again, that's if you have him in the third slot. Um, but he ha he can do up to three, um, three additional super attacks if you put him in the first or second slot, if you have additionals in him, right? So his active skill, very beautiful active skill, by the way. Greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less starting from the next turn only and by next turn it just means that you already have you have to have uh, Vegito Blue in this form for at least one turn before this pops up so there you go nothing else really changes so this guy is an absolute beast but let's take a look at Gogeta Blue right so he also leads last resort um, his super tech stuff is basically the same, raises attack, and again, his passive is, is, is literally the same, right? Attack and defense plus 70%, key 3 when attacking, and launches an additional, uh, addi uh, sorry, additional attack, has a medium chance of becoming a super tech. I talk so fast sometimes. Um, and then high chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, as a third attacker in the turn, transformer conditions are met, his transformation conditions are literally the same exact thing, everything here is basically exact, an exact copy of each other, right? So this is where he differs a little bit. And I can also see why people argue that he is the best unit in the game, right? So his attacks is, is 12 key and 18 key are basically the same. I really wish this stuff was like switched, but it is what it is, right? Now his passive skill. Attack and defense plus 77% at the start of turn. Key 5, not key 2, right? Because Gogeta gets key 2, right? He gets key 5, launches additional attack though. Not an additional super attack, but just an additional attack. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 7% with each attack performed up to 77% and, tax, and, and attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in the turn. So the difference here, right, is that Gogeta gets key immediately, key 5. But Vegito, sorry if I can click on it, Vegito builds up his key, but he can get a total up to 7 key because he gets 2 key, right, and then up to 5 key um, as every attack he performs, right? So that's a total of 7 key, but Gogeta gets 5 key off the bat, and then he doesn't get any key um, with each attack performed, just up to 77%, just like Vegito does. But the difference here is that he has attacks effective against all types. So people argue that if you have additionals in this guy too, like he's probably going to be putting out, like he's going to probably be putting out more damage, because it's okay, okay, if this guy does 2 additional attacks with attacks effective against all types, He's going to be doing a lot of damage, but if you have Vegito here, who does two additional attacks against, you know, an enemy who he doesn't have type advantage against, Gogeta is going to be doing more damage, because type advantage or type disadvantage doesn't really matter to this dude, right? And then the second part is basically the same, launches additional super attack and high chance, high chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack as the third attacker in the turn. So it really just depends on, on who you really like, right? Like. Attacks defending against all types can be very, very good if, again, if Gogeta and Vegito are doing the same number of super attacks, but Vegito is facing an enemy with type advantage, Gogeta is going to have the advantage, right? Okay, so active skill, same exact thing, um, greatly raises attack temporarily, 50% HP or less, only one enemy, you know, it's, it's not that hard to get this thing off, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Gogeta's active skill is probably the best looking active skill in the game. So next, let's take a look at Gogeta and Vegito's banner. So first thing I want to say is that there's probably going to be discounts on this. Probably. Oh, not probably. Most likely. Um, the discounts, we don't know yet. But last year, we got the first three multis for 30 stones. Right? Um, and then the last one was obviously free. So with that, with that in mind, you can do 390... You can, throw, you can throw in the banner 390 stones. And that'll be 12 multis worth. 12 multis you can get for 390 stones. That's very, very, very solid, right? Very solid. So that's I feel like that's a really decent chance. And I think everyone should have above 390 stones by now. If you haven't, then you just simply haven't been saving, right? So Gogeta's banner. We'll take a look at this Bardock in just a second. But Gogeta, you have LR Cell, who's pretty good. You have LR Physical Gogeta, who's pretty good too. You have AJL Gogeta, he's really good. Physical Broly, who's really good. The Tech, um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, he's okay. Uh, Steer Shenron, really good on full power. Then you have Int Gogeta, who I don't have. And then you have Intelligence and Emba, probably the top two, top three, best EZA in the game. Next, we have Vegito's banner. 
right? Uh, here we have Vegito, obviously. Then we have this Trunks and Mai, who I'll take a look at in just a second. Then we got LR Gohan. Then you got Intelligence um, Vegito. Then you got S. I about to say STR Trunks. Then you got Tech Trunks, who's very, very good. AGL Zamasu, who's okay. Um, Tech Zamasu, who's pretty good with EZA. Physical Vegito Blue, best EZA in the game. Um, Physical Super Vegito, who's okay. STR Boo, who's probably the worst character in both of these banners. Um, prove me wrong. Um, and then, yeah. So, okay, so when it comes to who you should summon for, you have to take a look at the banners and see you, who you have, right? Like, if you have every single, let's say you have every single one of these units, then Gogeta is going to be the better banner for you because you probably need some of these units. But if you have all of these units, then Vegeta's banner is going to be good for you. But let's say you don't care about the, the banner units, right? Let's say it's like who you should summon for, then I would say summon for the best unit in the game, Vegeta. Just summon for him. Vegeta is probably the best unit in the game. Um, if you need more tech units, summon here. If you need more SCR units, summon here. But also, like, for me personally, the only units on this banner I don't have, besides, like, the two new, the two new ones, um, is Tech, LR Cell. Did I say Tech? Intelligence, LR Cell, and Intelligence, um, Gogeta. That's, that's the only two units I, I don't have. But here, right, I don't have Gohan, okay? Um, I think I only need two more dupes to, to Rainbow U. I don't have Cell. I, bro, I can't, sp I don't know what the heck I'm saying. I don't have Trunks. I don't have Boo, even though he's okay. Um, and I don't have Physical Vegito Blue, who's the best easy in the game, and I would really love to get at least a few copies of him, right? So, this banner is a better banner for me. I do like Gogeta more, I'm a Gogeta fan, but personally, I'm summoning on Vegito. Vegito obviously is still goaded, and his banner is definitely better for me. So, let's take a look at this Bardock. Now, this Bardock is very, very solid, and here's why. More Heroes category key 3 and 120% to all stats. A 120 lead for movie heroes, not bad at all. Uh, his super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy, nothing too crazy. His passive skill, attack and defense plus 100%. Key 3, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when there's an ally whose name includes Goku on the team. This is really good. Not, not, on, the ro not on the same rotation, but on the team. You're very likely to run a Goku with this guy, right? Uh, and then Captain Ginyu Jr. included, obviously. Plus an additional attack, plus 100% when there is a movie bosses category enemy. Again, movie bosses, there's a pretty good roster in there. So um, you can. there's a good chance you probably pull that off. And then plus additional key 3 attack plus 100% and performs a critical hit when there's an enemy whose name includes Frieza. So imagine you're fighting Golden Frieza, okay? Imagine you're fighting Golden Frieza from Resurrection F. This guy is going to have, and you have Goku on your team, this guy is going to have defense plus 200% and attack plus 400%. This, guy's, this guy in the right conditions is actually insane, but this is why he's even better. His active skill, called Gine Support, removes all ally status effects and all allies attack plus 22% for two turns. Can be activated when HP is 80% or less starting from the fourth turn. Um, of battle. So the reason why this go like this guy is actually really good for showcase purposes, right? Um, because let's say you have LRB Pan, right? I use LRB Pan a lot for showcases because LRB Pan gives 33% um, to attack. But also, if you got if you have this guy on the turn before, you pop his active skill, and it lasts for two turns. So you pop this guy's active skill before, then you get LRB Pan with the unit you want, pop her active skill, and now you have an attack boost of 55%. And again, this lasts for every unit, like. This is so, so, so good. If this, like 22% I think is a perfect amount, right? So they definitely did this unit justice. This unit is very, very, very good. Do not be upset if you walk away with only this unit. A huge W here, right? Obviously not the one everyone wants, but definitely a huge W. And next we have this unit who's literally, literally insane. Like actually stupid. So before we read all of this, um, join forces category, uh, to key three and 120% to all stats. So a good join forces lead, I'll definitely take that. Uh, his super attack really raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy a, any unit who greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, two turns, three turns. They're a very solid unit defensively, right? Okay, here we go. Attack and defense plus 100%. Key 3 plus additional attack and defense plus 100% when there's an ally whose name includes Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan on the team. Again, look at the categories. Future Saga, there's, there's, blue, there's blue units on the team. We've got Time Travelers. There's blue units on the team. You got joint forces. Uh, there are now blue blue units on that team simply because of the Super Saiyan Blue Kai Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta that dropped on JP. 
So there you go. Last resort, there are blue units on that team, and revenge. I don't think there. I don't, I don't know. I have to actually. Let's take a look at it real quick. Let's actually take a look at it. Are there blue units? No, there's not. Right? Maybe Vegeta. No, there's not. Yeah, there's not. There's not. There's not. Doesn't think so. Okay, let's back out of here. Um, so you you have a good chance of running this guy with with a, like a blue Super Saiyan, um, go, um, Super Saiyan blue Goku, Super Saiyan blue Vegeta. Um, okay, let's continue. Plus additional attack, plus 100% when there's a future Saga category enemy. Plus additional key 3 attack, plus 100% and performs a critical hit. And there's an enemy who includes, oh, whose name includes Zamasu or Goku Black. Again, very solid unit. If you're if you're facing a, a Goku Black or Zamasu and you have a blue Super Saiyan Blue on your team, that's, that's defense plus 200%, in attack plus 400%. But... Here is what makes him absolutely broken with the specific conditions, right? His active skill, even Evil Containment Wave or the Mufuba, raises attack by 628%. So, so before we continue reading, if you have all this stuff done, like let's say all these conditions met, you're literally at 1,028% attack, def like like raise, like that's insane, right? Temporarily and uh, temporarily, of course, and performs a critical hit. Stuns enemy and has own defense within the same turn. That's very fair, right? And can be activated when your team has an ally whose name includes Trunks, uh, Teen, Trunks Future, or just Mai, which again is, can be very easy. Attacking in the same turn, stuff excluded, starting from the third turn um, from the start of battle. Um, again, it is a pretty restrictive active skill, but if you can get this off, like let's say you have LR Trunks and Mai on, on, on the rotation, boom, like this guy is going to be absolutely disgusting absolutely disgusting so his links are good his categories are really really good lastly before we end today's video i want to take a look at the last resort category this this category is absolutely busted all right you have lr vegeta you got lr gogeta okay you got this guy who's actually about to get easy and i'm pretty sure he's about to be one of the best units in the game so you have him um and then you got the the, the three-year anniversary units right LR Vegito Blue, the best free-to-play unit in the game, probably. Um, then you got this bomb coup, or whatever you want to call him. He's absolutely disgusting. And then you just have a plethora, a plethora of really solid units on this team. And the thing is that this team is going to, this category is going to continue growing, right? So I really can't wait uh, to see what this category has in store. But this is absolutely, like, ima like imagine you have bomb coup, okay? The two... Uh, three year anniversary units, that's three units right there. Gogeta, Gogeta and Vegito, that's five. And let's say you had this Goku at six. Like that, like, who's stopping you? Like, no one, no one. And the really cool thing about these two units too, right, is that they both basically share the same leader skill. So you can run, let's say you pull Vegito, you don't need Gogeta because you can just run a Gogeta's lead and they're basically sharing the same exact thing. You can have both on the same team. Um, and their rotation is gonna, bro, it's absolutely insane. So let me know in the comment section below who are you guys pulling for, Gogeta or Vegito? Hopefully I covered everything in this video. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.